fr from lousy engineering management, I, I have to say it. And there were people that were going off in 18 different directions, doing arguably interesting things in each one of them. Good engineers, lousy management. And what happened was you look at the, the, the farm that's been created with all these different animals going in different directions, and it doesn't add up. The total is less than the sum of the parts. And so we had to decide what are the fundamental directions we're going in and what makes sense and what doesn't. And there were a bunch of things that didn't. And microcosmically, they might have made sense. Macrocosmically, they made no sense. And you know, the hardest thing is, you, when you think about focusing, right? You think, well, focusing is, is saying yes, no. Focusing is about saying no. Focusing is about saying no. And you've got to say no, 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 no. And when you say no, you piss off people. And they go talk to the San Jose Mercury, and they write a shitty article about you. But focus is about saying no. And the result of that focus is going to be some really great products where the total is much greater than the sum of the parts. You know, one of the things I feel very strongly about is that the day we started Apple Computer, IBM was far more powerful in the computer industry than Microsoft and Intel are today. The day we started Apple. Because they not only control the technologies, they controlled the customer. They had direct contact with the customer. And so we should have just given up. I mean, Waz, you know, was, I should have just nudged Waz, hey, forget it. We don't have a chance. But we were too stupid to know that. <laughs> we hadn't gone to business school. We didn't read the Wall We didn't even know what the Wall Street Journal was. I'd never seen a Wall Street Journal. And that served us well. <laughs> so what can I say? I, I, I think every good product that I've ever seen in this industry and pretty much anywhere is because a group of people care deeply about making, about making something wonderful that they and their friends wanted. You know? They wanted to use it themselves. And that's how the Apple I came about. That's how the Apple II came about. That's how the Macintosh came about. And that's how almost everything I know that's good has come about. It didn't come about because people were trembling in the corner worried about some big company stomping on it. Because if the big company made the product that was right, then most of these things wouldn't have happened. I mean, if we could have went, if Waz and I could have went out and plunked down, a, you know, 2,000 bucks and bought an Apple II, why would we have built one? We weren't trying to start a company, we were trying to get a computer. The other thing I feel very, very, very strongly is, it's incredibly stupid for Apple to get in a position where for Apple to win, Microsoft has to lose. That's really dumb. I mean, I don't expect the federal government to break up Microsoft for a lot of reasons, though the least of which is the federal government's a monopoly. I mean, they're buddies. So, I, I just, Microsoft's a fact of life. They're like the air we breathe. Apple can win without having to have Microsoft lose. I firmly believe that. And hopefully, uh, Microsoft uh, will uh, increasingly over time realize that uh, that is the case and, and that Apple represents a, a quite profitable part of their business. One of the hardest things when you're trying to affect change is that you've got to start with the customer experience and work backwards to the technology. You can't start with the technology and try to figure out where you're going to try to sell it. And I've made this mistake probably more than anybody else in this room. And I've got the scar tissue to prove it. And I know that it's the case. And as we have tried to <clears throat> come up with a strategy and a vision for Apple, um, it started with what incredible benefits can we give to the customer? Where can we take the customer? Not, not starting with, let's sit down with the engineers and, and, 
figure out what awesome technology we have and then how are we going to market that. Um, and I think that's the right path to take. 